Hi everyone, Trevor here. I'm going to go over how to set up uh, TrueNAS uh, storage pool. It's relatively simple uh, and it doesn't take very long. I have a brand new install of TrueNAS 13U6.1. My platform is an Intel i7-4771 CPU using an ASUS Q87M-E motherboard which has six SATA ports at six gigabits and two PCI Express lane, two PCI Express ports and two PCI ports. I have a Mellanox card in one PCI Express port and I have this Pantec five port SATA three six gig PCI Express host card in the other giving me a possibility of up to 11 drives. So here, we'll just have a look at the disk quickly. I have a 40 gig solid state drive that I'm gonna use for a VDAD Z log, which is like a cache drive for helping with simultaneous writes. I have a 120 gig uh, SATA SSD for caching. Then I have eight drives for storage, six Western Digital Reds, and two Seagate, Seagate Iron Wolf drives. To create a pool, we go here under storage, go to pools. We're gonna add, and we're gonna go create a pool. If we had something to import, we'd select the import. So when I go to create pool, We have to give it a name and you can see here we have a data vdev now a data vdev is your typical storage it would be like adding another hard drive and what you start off with for your first vdev will determine the rest of your vdev so if you do stripe you do all of them stripe if you do mirror you do all of them mirror if you do a z pool you do all of them as a z pool now you would typically do drives of the same size, which is why I'm setting mine up as a mirror. Uh, so when I add all these four terabyte drives, you see it defaults to a Z RAID 2, which gives me a two disk redundancy. A Z RAID 1 is a single disk and a Z RAID 3 is a three disk. Or I could go with a stripe or a mirror. A mirror would give me essentially one four terabyte uh, disk, even though I have six there. So I'm going to set up my TrueNAS storage pool as several mirrors. So I'm gonna have several different V devs. Uh, so I'm gonna have a one disk redundancy on all my mirrors. So we'll just finish this up. Now I want to add a cache drive, which is my 120 gig drive. And I want to add a Z log, which um, is a write cache. You now can you see can here see when here I created the error Z log that I get uh, strike B warning log. saying that I in the event of power failure, power uh, I could lose data. Lab, so this I'm is fine. This is for my lab. I'm not doing production. And I override so until to continue. I'm gonna and go ahead and bypass it, and then create my Z pool. pool. Now this will just take a couple seconds, and that's it. We're done. Okay, so we can see here I have 13 and a half terabytes available. And from here, we can go ahead and create a Samba share or a nice SCSI target. And that is what I plan on doing. I'm going to create a nice SCSI target for a Windows 2022 lab server that I have. If you found this tutorial useful, don't forget to like and subscribe.